Hello everybody, welcome to Angie Blog Divine Intuitive. I hope you're doing well, some new good vibes. Just bear with me, there's a lot of messages today. Um, I just closed a reading just now and uh, while I was fixing some stuff, like Holy Spirit was literally asking me to come here. At first I saw this and I was like, okay, what is going on? But then I was reading this scripture um, I read this scripture on a daily and I got a download right away. It says, Mi entusiasmo por la vida me hace avanzar. So right away I got a download where someone could be, um, which means uh, my enthusiasm for life, it makes me go forward, right? So the download that I got is someone's trying to mess with someone's like enthusiasm, someone like uh, their drive for living or so this could be some type of some form of manipulation or control like and trigger warning I feel like this is someone triggering someone to um, act in a certain way suicide or taking their own life or do some type of because they don't want something that you're doing collective they don't want you to do this again it keeps going going back to the north north and the Neptune energy okay there's someone like obsessed okay with success all right they obsess with the need to control uh or they don't want to surrender they don't want to let things like you know they're just obsessed okay it says an obsession with success uh power struggle uh, benefiting from power struggle or something or someone's they're seeing someone like they 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 thrive or seeing someone like struggle go through certain situation like they want someone to go through the same situation that they're going through or something like that like they obsessed with that okay see an awareness see mercury retrograde some of you it's like there's people coming from the past who really did horrible things okay and this could be something in the past that obviously it didn't it didn't happen right so it says the awareness of many thoughts about or from many words right so they could be using like word manipulation or i'm seeing someone looking at someone's picture and like curt like saying horrible things to someone's picture the this could be also someone's work someone's business this could be someone's channel okay so i'm here to exactly communicate and analyze let your mind tell you how to proceed or how to protect yourself like a lot of you you need to learn how to protect yourself okay i don't know that was very significant i'll tap into Let's see with this. I don't know, I haven't used this deck for a while. I feel called to do so. What is going on? Yeah, exactly. Because you're focusing on empathy and freedom. You're also helping other people to be more empathetic, more loving, more caring towards other. This is someone like, they don't want that. They want people to stay stuck, not to feel, again, some of you, literally, it's the devil that's doing this. I'm just being straight up. A lot of us uh, spiritual uh, tarot readers are going through this. Yeah, see, they want you to end this. They want you to stop talking about change, about feeling uh, gratitude. They want people to stay in regret. They want people to stay stuck in adversity and not change, I'm telling you. And there he is using his sons and daughters right now. So don't fall for it, okay? Continue doing what you got to do. You're meant to be the light in this world, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Angels and ancestors, please protect me while I go through this channel for the collective. Yeah, they want to stuck. Exactly. But the more they stay stuck in their ego and pride, the more fail failing they're going to go through. They're failing. Yeah, it's not working and it's not going to work love is the highest power is the love is everything a lot of people they don't want you to also sacrifice you know letting go of this thing that is keeping you stuck that is not helping you evolve that is not helping you heal like it's this is this is why <clears throat> this is why they don't want you to go through that to do your spiritual journey your spiritual awakening yeah these are people like really toxic, okay? Yeah, change, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, exactly. So a lot of you have been feeling stagnant, exactly, enthusiasm. 
trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you stagnant, trying to keep you not to do the things that you got to do. Yeah, because they don't want you to surrender to God. I'm telling you, surrender. I can release my need to control. This is why. These people want to continue controlling you guys, manipulating you. Don't let it, okay? Yes, exactly. Perseverance, exactly. Stay in that perseverance energy, okay? Seriously. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Exactly. You can by the power of your thoughts. By you, uh, how do you, you know, self control yourself, right? Doing things like make a promise to yourself that you're not going to do certain things because you know they're not good for you, for your body and health and that too. If you're feeling down, depressed, or anxious and stuff like that, like that's what they're doing. I'm hearing they're doing like something to attack your 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 heart. So basically to make you feel sad and depressed. Some of you, it's like you're going into union with someone, but all of a sudden you feel like you're not connected with your person or something like it's them. Like these are the son and the sons and daughters of the devil. Like that's what he's like, he's yeah and that too is like whenever things doesn't work uh, work for them or something like that they're pointing at fingers at people to blame but they're not looking at themselves they're not looking at the fact that they're the one doing this that they're not willing to change also they're trying to keep someone bound and stuck right a lot of you you're uh claiming your independence you're claiming your freedom from especially karmics like a very a lot of karmics a lot of people are waking up that's what it is. They're willing to change. They're willing, like, they don't care. They'd rather be by themselves, doing what they got to do, making themselves happy, okay? Persevering, whatever things is going on, and stay stuck and settling for something that it's not good for them no more. You know, there's no growth. There's nothing. There's no change, you know? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. Exactly. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Stop blaming out. Yeah, they think it's funny. They think this is funny what they're doing. Well, let them laugh. Let them laugh while you walk away and focus focus on your passions and your and that too. Whenever you feel that way, start moving. Go outside. Go drink some water. Go hang out with like you know, or just go have a date with yourself. Like a lot of you, you need to have that relationship with God, and the only that's why He isolates you guys. Because there's things that he knows that it needs to change that it cannot go through the next cycle that you're going. Also, he's trying to help you how in like internal freedom and happiness it happens within yourself first. Also, all the things that has been happening is happening for you, not to you. That's why builds perseverance here. Stop blaming other people for shit that you've done as well. This is what they're doing. And be patient. Exactly. Be patient with him. Focus on service. Do things that you know you can benefit other people. Do some volunteering work. Uh, go apply for, I don't know. Do other things to keep your mind busy. Like, stop. Like, I don't understand why people are so... Exactly. Look at that. A lot of you, you're focused so much on all that glitters. For the cloud. Doing things for cloud. But are you happy, though? Are you free from whatever bondage that you think you're free? Like, that's an illusion. 31 could be significant, 16, all that glitters. Yeah, a lot of people, that's what it is. They're blaming other people because they fell for the for the bullshit. It was not gold, right? It wasn't green or where it was, right? Look at that. Divine feminines or someone is working on their healing energy. Yeah, masculine, you're healing your divine feminine energy within yourself. All this of you, someone's like constantly thinking of someone, like nonstop. They want to mend this. They see now there's someone treasure island. Someone's going through a transformation. They want to things do things by the book. They're cleaning up. Okay. They want to co-create with the universe with God. Okay. They were indecisive. Okay. Again, divine masculine. See? Building blocks in reverse. This is someone doing this to a masculine right now. They're trying to make you not focus. Remember the, that project or something that you wanted to do in the past? Go go check it out. God is telling you there's something there by the higher power. Go the distance, okay? You do have unfinished business with that loyal heart. Someone who is fated to be with you. And some of you, this person feels like they're running out of time or something like that. But it's because they were stuck. They didn't want to change. They, they think that having this union and stuff like that is going to... Um, 
temper their freedom. But if anything, it's no, it's keeping you in bondage to have these people that, that doesn't make you happy anymore. Sticking around with karmic friends, families or whatever, right? You want to be happy and stuff like that, right? But that's ridiculous. This is, this is commitment phobes. Yeah, community, okay? Some of you, these people have done stuff to show people that they're happy for the community, but they're not. Look, there's justice here, to be fair. There has to be equal give and take, you know what I'm saying? Wow, this is something, some of you, you're being doing this over and over and over again. Deep knowing, a lot of you, you know this. Look, soulmate in reverse with the round and round. This is a karmic cycle that you guys need to let go of. This karmic, it doesn't want you guys to change and ask, like, literally be free. They're just blaming other people. There is some emotional manipulation here, okay? Like, seriously. This is, this is sad. This is someone sad and pathetic, to be honest. Okay? Like... <sighs> Let's see what your soul wants to guide you right now. I can't take this. I'm gonna stay too long, guys, because uh, it takes forever to upload and I've been guided to upload it right now. Yeah, taking shelter, the answers are within. I can't make this up, go within. There's a lot of you that it's okay to do your shadow work in a work separated from car makes. They not they cannot go where you're going. This is family, friends, toxic friends. I'm telling you, someone is doing something in the background though. Like uh, they're trying to cloak themselves, but I'm already like it's being exposed right now. A lot of you, masculine, you need to tap into your intuition. Okay, there's nothing being in a union with your person, a divine partner. It's not gonna prevent you from your freedom. Who's putting that in, in the enemy? Yeah. It's not true. You're gonna find more freedom, be yourself and like build the stability and the freedom that you want when you do this change, when you accept this change and you surrender. Stop blaming other people for shit that you know you need to work on. Just what it is. Yeah, ascending the mountain, keep going forwards. By the way, your feminine energy, they're ascending. The answers are within and there's ascension process. Someone's ascending here. Either both of you. Someone's preventing someone ascension here. But that's to the detrimental, like they're cursing themselves. You cannot do that. Yeah, take action with passion. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. This is what it is. They don't want you to be courageous. They don't want you to take action. They're doing stuff. Yeah, support is all around you, okay? You got your spirit, guys. Oh my God, that's a peacock. That's so cute. Some of you, you're traveling, you're going towards your happiness. That's what Spirit's letting you know. Some of you, you work on yourself during the winter. I see snow here, and then now, before the snow melts, like this is where you're, you're, you're continuing moving forward. Some of you, you already changed, you broke this off. But there's someone doing something in the background. Yeah, choose your path, all is possible, okay? Spirit, what is going on? Oh my God. So this is a warning for someone trying to prevent someone from changing, from blocking their freedom, but blaming other people when things don't work. Like th this is someone not looking at themselves. Ah, I knew it, family. They're blaming you for their shit that they're not doing. So some of you masculine is your family. They're trying to curse you. Damn. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, there's someone who tried to cur the masculine. There's a there's a witch. I'm hearing. Well, that's sorry. There's a lot of downloads right now. Thank you, angels. Um, so there's a witch, an ex of yours. Uh, they curse you and your family. Okay, someone's using magic to place generational curses on you and your family. Okay, so basically. Right now, your divine feminine is your healer. I'm hearing your healer, she's she's talking in tongues. She's praying in tongues. So I feel like this person's going to pray over you in tongues. 
they know this. They know that if you go towards your divine feminine, who you're meant to be with, yeah. Yeah. She's saying no weapon against us shall prosper, and she's saying it is written, leave. Like she's, I'm seeing someone like literally saying, leave. And that whatever is attached to you, masculine, it leaves. So you're feminine. I'm telling you, this is why feminines are the leaders. This is why also the system attacks feminine, especially those who are in um, creating stability for themselves, building uh, empires. Like some of you are single mothers or single or, but a specific single mothers, because you guys are the transcenders. You, this is why your your pain is is the most intense. Also, this is a family curse as well. Some of you, it's your family, divine feminines as well. Masculine, both of you. This is ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. I can't make this up. I told you guys. It's a health situation to keep you like depressed and sad and not, yeah, because you're meant to um, clean up the, the bloodline. Someone's trying to negatively affect your health, either physically or mentally. Yeah. You need black cell power. See, it's harmless. You suck, use black cell to break hexes and repel unwanted energies. Okay? Block removing. Whatever was holding you back has been or is being removed. Okay? So I feel like a lot of this is why it's important uh, masculine and feminine. Whether you know your person, whether you don't know them yet, whether you're in separation or not, always pray for your person at nighttime during the day. Always pray for them, no matter what. Okay? Pray for your person okay especially those who want to be in your divine unions you want to be uh in, in in union okay this lifetime especially the person that god ordained for you your kingdom spouse your kingdom wife okay pray for them this is heavy spiritual warfare here yeah look they're trying to steal your energy wow this is a lot of people someone has ill thoughts towards you but there's nothing they can physically or spiritually do about it exactly so like I said, remember I told you guys that there was someone looking at someone's picture on social media or something and like like cursing them. But it's like they're only cursing themselves. There is some health uh, attacks here. I'm here. Yo, do you hear my stomach? <laughs> That's confirmation for you. That was weird. Yeah, someone's out to take something that is yours. This could be love, money, and energy. Again, karmics. Demon magic. Someone's conjuring demons to block your blessings and bring harm your way. But it's not working. Yeah. Someone thinks you hurt them and are mad out to seek revenge. So there you go. This is someone that, let's say your masculine is, you masculine are moving away from this karmic, family, friends, exes, whatever the fuck. You no longer want to be participating. This could be also a cult that you're letting go. You're finding out that someone is in a satanic cult or something like that and you don't longer want to be like that. Yeah, this is why they are talking you, okay? These are people who, these are family who are cursed. They're cursed. For example, like I said recently, I talk about this. Jewish, for example, the Jewish uh, communities, right? Jewish are now as understanding that they have to acknowledge Jesus, but they were taught to say that, no, they don't believe in Jesus, that Jesus this, Jesus that. Oh, it's not true. He's not the Messiah. But the thing is, they're doing that because they don't want to hold themselves accountable for the fact that they sacrifice him. And they, by doing that, they curse themselves. They curse their entire family. Now, the way that they repent and then they get, you know, their protection back and they're no longer cursed is by acknowledging Jesus in their Torah, in their prayers and stuff like that. Now, Jesus um, community, thank you, Holy Spirit, Jesus. Oh, he's here. Um, now, what they're doing is that the Jewish community, what they're doing now, they're shifting their power and they're changing. This is why all the families are attacking, especially very religious uh, Jewish community, like very the, you know, the Hasidic Jews and stuff like that, who are like, no, blah, blah, blah. yeah, they're, they know that they will never, you know what I'm saying? They know this. They will be stuck in poverty forever and dealing with the massive diseases and stuff like that. They know this. They know this. But their pride and ego is so intense that they don't want to acknowledge the fact that because just by doing that, it automatically God forgive them. Just by doing that, by adding their worship and uh, and worshiping His Son as well, also taking accountability for the fact that they did that. They have to put that in their Torah, right? 
So once there's Jewish community now that they, listen, recently, I've been getting emails about that. They are doing this. They are acknowledging Jesus in their life. And right away, things are happening. Their, their family, their people that they used to have cancer or they have Alzheimer's in their bloodline, they no longer have it. Why? Because they are worshiping Jesus as well. Unfortunately, they have to do it in a sneaky way because, you know, they have to deal with the consequences. Some of them, they don't. There are, I'm seeing ads and, and people in their YouTube channel, Jewish community also, they're talking about Jesus. Why? Because they know that this is their salvation. They know that they have to do this. They know this. So this is why also they're getting their stability back. They're getting finances back. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm just putting that out there. They also know that if they don't do that, their guests, they have demonic entities attached to them and to their families. They also know that they don't have any protection, especially if they have family curses and family cursing them on top of that, right? So the only way that a lot of y'all who need to stick to Jesus, if you wanna be protected in this planet, this is it. So a lot of y'all, this is a person literally knows this, that they have to surrender to Christ consciousness. Okay, this is what this is. Yeah, see, they're doing voodoo. Wow, voodoo. The legion of demonic spirits have been dispatched to attack you through people around you. I can't make this up. So a lot of you, if you're in a low vibration and all of a sudden uh, you have people who are in a lot jealous, envious energy, right? Who are just low vibration, okay? And it's nothing that you're doing. It's just the fact that they are in that energy. Right away, whatever demonic or anything these people are trying to send, it will affect your friends. It will affect people. So that's why don't forgive them because they don't know what they're doing, okay? And no weapon against us shall ever prosper. Do you understand? That's literally the reading that I just did. It's uploading right now. Do not have any fear, okay? And pray for your friends. When you see them doing, acting things that they're not usually themselves, pray for them. That is an attack. That is a spiritual warfare that we're all going through. And right now, this is what they're doing. A lot of you is your projects, your passions, your work that you're doing that is meant to change a lot of things. For example, that too. People who are coming out of the status quo, the usual thing that they shouldn't be doing. And right away, they start seeing beautiful things happen in their life when they're coming out of the status quo, when they start investigating, when they start going within and asking the answers within, right? And then continue moving forward, taking action with passion, courageous. This is it. This is pissing off a lot of family members, a lot of people who are ex-friends, exes and stuff like that, who benefit from manipulating and controlling you. They're jealous and envious and hateful that you are the cycle breaker. So you are a cycle breaker of divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? This is why. But it doesn't mean that you're not protected, but you still have to continue doing your spiritual discipline, your passions, right? Create a discipline that is passionate for you. Meditation, prayers every certain day. Prayers is every day or every hour, okay? Building that relationship with God is actually, you know, with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with the NES and the Masters, but that's specifically the Son of God because He is the Son of God. <laughs> and it's time that we let go of that. Oh, I don't, I don't believe in that. Okay, well, good luck with that because He's here to cleanse all the, our energy. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. The energy bloodline. He's That's what He did, all that He did. And He's still doing it. God doesn't sleep. He's always working. So this is what He's trying to let you know that that's what I'm doing, but... Right now, how you help yourself, because at the end of the day, faith without action, there's no, uh, there's nothing, right? You have to help yourself. You have to do your prayers. You have to do your meditation when he tells you. You have to, you know, cut cord and things with people that no longer serve you, e enemies or anything that you know that, that he's telling you. Get off these people, especially people, let's say that you know that you're no longer drinking or drugs or anything like that, that you know that he's not okay with that, that he's taking you somewhere else. Cut that shit off. Even if they take it personally, that's not about them. It's about you, your life here. There are literally people trying to attack your health here, trying to get you back. Let's say you were someone like finally you were able to um, overcome addictions with drugs, let's say, or alcohol, right? Because alcohol is, it lowers your vibration. That is a spirit, right? So when you're finally able to do that, right away you start seeing that the enemy will start sending you friends and stuff like that. Like people who love you, they will not make you do things that you don't want to do. Okay. So that's your first red flag. There's someone that like doesn't accept or feel some type of way because you don't want to do certain things. 
That's not your friend. That's not your family. That's not uh, nothing. Do you understand? They're nothing. Okay? Cut it off. It's on purpose. Okay? That too. These demonic legions have been unleashed, right? So that's what they're doing. The health attack is it's for real. And it's mentally as well. They're trying to attack something, but yeah, now they're doing a pity party. Look, because it's not working. It's not. Someone is going through tough time and wants you to experience the same thing. Mm, no, don't allow that. The fuck? Look, you're protected. And someone's praying for you. Light magic. Someone's using spell work with good intentions to help you. Exactly. Some of you, you have people that you, they don't even know you. Okay? And they're praying for you. For real. You have your angels like praying for you, Holy Spirit's praying for you, for you and your person, okay? You are protected and you're gonna be victorious, okay? This is why it's pissing these people off, but they only curse in themselves. And if you're watching, well, this is what's coming for you. And may God have mercy on your soul. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna, you don't know God, you don't believe in God, well, he's gonna, yeah. But this is what I don't understand. These are people who don't believe it, like, they don't believe in God, right? But they believe in black magic, they do witchcraft, they do all these things. But also, these are the people who don't believe in therapy. But they also, they, they think that depression and anxiety and all that stuff, it's like, it's like wrong. There's something wrong with you. But you believe in dark magic, brujeria, and all that. I'm just her brujeria. Okay. So these are Latinos también. Okay. This is Latino too. Okay. You're fucking pathetic. Okay? You're pathetic. And do not let anybody make you feel any type of way if you go to therapy. Okay? These are people who don't want to change, who are stuck in a situation, and want you to stay stuck and miserable and sad just as them. Hell no. Choose yourself. Love yourself. Okay? Let them be a misery. Because misery loves company. Let them be in their misery and their fucking... Blech. You are protected. What they have planned for you will not work. It's there. No weapon against you shall prosper. Victory. You will be victorious over any attacks against you. No matter what they do, you will win. And that's literally Jesus' message for you as well. Okay? Because he's fighting serious fights, okay, for you guys. Be grateful. All, every day, wake up and say thank you. Thank you for I'm able to breathe. Thank you for I woke up. Thank you for the, the house that I have, the shelter that I have, the food that I have. Even if you don't have anything, if you have the littlest thing, just be grateful for that. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that don't have nothing right now. And you see them, that's that too. Those people, they have nothing. They're so happy. They find their happiness within themselves. And there's people jealous and envious who have everything. Make it make sense. Yes, there's people that do scheming things, horrible things for money. And once they have everything they need, they're still jealous, envious, and miserable. And then they look at other people, judging them and stuff like that, that they don't have what they have. But they see them happy and, and thriving and beautifully and connected to God and loving God. It pisses them off. Make it make sense. Pride, ego, greedy, selfishness will not get you guys nowhere. Do you understand me? You will always be cursed. Always. Protection, none. And you need it. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> You need it in this planet to live in this world, to be happy and inner peace in the world of oppressive and capitalist and toxic as fuck system. And then dealing with all these people who are sad and miserable, that they don't want to change. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to heal. You need it, that protection. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Spirit, do we need to do any tarot? Here, we'll do some tarot, but I think I was, that was pretty clear. Like, for real. Wow. What is going on, Spirit? Yeah. Now they're watching. They can't stand that you're happy, self-sufficient, that you don't need anybody, that you're independent. Like, this is this is what the enemy wants you guys to stay stuck in codependent relationship. And relationship anything. Codependent. Needy. Although needy is different for a lot of people, but it's just codependent and like bound and stuck, you know? Look, twin flames and reverse. They can't stand people. This is twin flames is kingdom marriages. This is divine union. This is what the enemy is attacking right now. Some of you, you are in a twin flame connection. 
Reflection of the soul, mirror emotions, your other half, share feelings. Exactly. This is what they're attacking. Some of you, they're attacking your heart. This is why you feel angry or some type of way towards your masculine or a divine feminine. It's This is people doing stuff in the background. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. You're ascending. Learning, transcending, preparing for you in a new phase. Exactly. This is what they're attacking. Also, your person's coming. Divine Feminine, your person wants to speak. They're, you're, some of you are coming out of separation. This is it. This is what they're doing. Yeah, look. Searching for answers, blinded to truth, watching you online, wanting to know. Yeah, your person is like, yeah. And then all their people are seeking revenge. Look at that. Retaliation, plotting payback, punishing, getting even. These are karmics. See, there's history happened in the past, repeated patterns. This is someone who chose probably the karmic in a past life. And this didn't happen. Or maybe, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. But now spirit wants to right their wrong. Some of you, you made a promise before you came to this planet to your person. Yeah. Protected aura, divine intervention, guarding angel, shielding. Some of you, you're, you're being shielded right now and protected. Okay. By these people creating fake profiles, jealous of you. This is so ridiculous. Fake profile hiding from you behind the scenes, social media. Some of you, your person, this is why spirit, thank you, Archangel Magical. He did uh, shield you from your person because they were, they have to close this uh, fake accounts. So they were watching you in fake accounts and spirit's like, no, you either pay come true and authentic or you don't come at all, right? All those of you is this karmics, they all obsessed with you, divine feminine, they're jealous. Also that too, they're also watching your person as well. Oh my God, this is so weird. Rumors, pettiness, being envious, talking behind your back. See, the side piece. Now is they're mad because this person is single. Some of you, you're single, you've always been single. You're not interested, you're not looking, honestly. That's not your, some of you, you're okay with being your celibate and having that connection between you and God. They hate that. Why? Because they always need to be having multiple sex partner and multiple things and you're not into that. Some of you, they could have said that about you, but they, was, they were just talking about themselves. Yeah, freedom from attachment available today. Some of you, yeah, you are. This is what's pissing off this person because they fall for the, for the stupid shit. Some of you, they believe this rumors of these people who were jealous and talking shit behind your back. Some of you, yeah. This person needs time. They need to heal, okay? Now is not the time they will bring. Time will bring unexpected changes. Exactly. See, this person is discarding this thing. Discarding. No, look the other way. Be, leaving behind. Yeah, they're leaving all these side pieces, this third-party situation. They're leaving it behind. See, I'm telling you. This is why you're getting more. The spiritual warfare is getting more intense. It's because your person is coming. Your person is. It's. It's has had that period. They surrender to God. They're. Talking to the spirit guys, their angels, they're connecting to the universe. They're taking action with passion now. They're happy to go towards the divine feminine because you are their happiness. This person is miserable and sad because you are them. They are nothing without you. This is your kingdom spouse, divine feminine. You're the kingdom wife. This person is very nervous, by the way. Roller coaster right ups and down, good and bad, rush feelings. Like it's a lot, yeah. But they're listening to God. This is why, yeah, look, they're single. This is what they're mad. Look, it fell down in the single thing. You are single. You are so strong, my God. Now, why? That's it, my God, because your strength comes from God because you're dealing not just with the spiritual warfare and situation of these person's side pieces, right? And their toxic ways and what they were doing in the past and blah, 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 right? And all these karmas that are going towards you, but also you have toxic as fuck friends. You have toxic as fucks. I don't know where environment you are, but you really need to create boundaries because there's a lot of people that are like, they just want your energy. It's your energy. You're self-sufficient, you're independent, you're minding your own business. As you should. Yeah, these people are angry. Oh, how strong you are. Or how these spell works. Or all these things that they're doing behind your back. Seven or so. Or sneaky, lying, cheating. Or, or trying to send you uh, lying, cheating energy towards you. It's not working. Because this person made their decision. Also, your person sees through the lies. They see through the veil. Just like you. Boo. See? The work that you have done, Divine Feminine, is working. 
Continue, okay? It's working. Look, 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 look. They're mad. These are narcs. Fucking narcs, narcissistic, sadists, pathological, fucking crazy ass people, psychotic, okay? Your person is dealing with this stuff, okay? Some serious spiritual warfare. Yes, because they want to come towards you. They want to have this new beginning. They want to keep this person stuck. Now your person is blocking. Seven of one, blocking all these people and stuff like that. Because they want to be happy, okay? And they want to tell you, all right, yes, look. Eight of pentacles. They want to work towards this. They want to put in the work now, which in the past they didn't. See, they ended the shit. This Queen of Wands energy who try to create death spells. Oh my God. They wanted to end this relationship, for, but they can. This is destined. The karmic wheel is on you, this person's side. They love you. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. This is so ridiculous. This person is ridiculous. See, this person has ended this. It's over. Yeah, that's the truth. Thank you, Spirit. They're going to come in. This is talking about this. Yeah, these people are jealous and envious and trying to self-sabotage this person. Divine Master, this is why you're not having to be able to communicate. You are dealing with spiritual warfare because you finally made your decision. And these are the sons and king daughters of the devil. Some of you, you need to create boundaries and block out these motherfuckers that you know they are not good for you. Also, they have they feel some type of way about your person. Other people that talk shit up behind your person's back as well, you need to cut that shit off. That's why Angel Michael is not letting you get close to your person because no, you cannot be close to. And those people are not your friends. Those people are not your fucking family, especially if they try to curse you, your family. Also, a lot of you is the... There's a very toxic ex here, okay? Yeah, new love. A new person has stereo romantic feelings. Trust, exactly. This situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? And I'm going to leave it like that, guys. Free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Divine feminine, this person free themselves. They're trusting now in the divine, okay? They're dealing with exactly with some finances right now, but that doesn't matter. They're going to come towards you. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Why? Because they were stuck with karmic situations. Things that no longer serve them. Things that, you know what I'm saying? And they're aware now. Exactly. They want to reconcile with you. Someone from your past is returning in your life. I don't know if this is someone that it's a new love that have to go through all this situation. Okay. All this of you, it could be someone from your past. But I don't feel like you were in a relationship with this person. This could be an old friend or this could be someone. I don't know if you had a situation ship or something like that. But Spirit says you deserve love. Okay. Know your worth. Exactly. You are valuable. Love yourself first. Exactly. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Also, Spirit said don't make it easy for this person. Okay. They got to work for it. Yeah. Don't go and just sleep with them right away. Don't just go and like take it, especially if this person hurt you in the past or they did something, make them work for it, okay? Trust trust here, you had to build that trust. If their trust was violated or the trust was broken, to reconcile, don't make it easy for them because that's what it is. They're used to easy, breezy hoes, right? Don't make, don't do that. Divine feminists, you know what's up. You don't do this shit very soon, okay? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Exactly. See, you're calling the seat past life. There you go. That's twin flame energy. Because this car, this deck doesn't have twin flame. But when they come like that together, this is twin flames. This is kingdom marriage. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualization help you bring together. This is why it's happening. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Make the effort, my divine masculine. Okay? Great love is worth taking the step you're guided to take. And that's what I have for you. Let's see if they have a message. The hidden truth. And then I'm going to bounce. Because I don't want to make this too long. Oh, why is it always? I hate who I really am from you. Exactly. They were wearing a mask. I knew exactly what I was doing. Exactly. I don't react when people mention you. That's their ego talking. I wish I could take back my words. So yeah, you see. There were stuff that they said. There were stuff that they said. They, call, they talk to about, bad about you with these people. 
This is why Spirit said, no, you can't go back. The same people that are trying to hurt and, and keep you stuck on healed and on awakened, you can't, after you pass that, now you're awake, now you're aware, you can't stay with the same friends that did, that hurt your person and hurt your relationship. You cannot do that, right? Also, the, the people that are trying to keep you uh, dressed in a mask and acting a certain way that it was not yourself. Because you knew exactly what you were doing, right? When you were in that eagle and prideful and doing stuff for a cloud, right? Yeah, this is why they're coming. I feel you're leaving me behind. But that's an illusion. My life is not as together as I seem. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, this is the ego. This person is battling those, not only their own demons, but also if they haven't caught to create boundaries with all their demonic entities who are really working behind the scenes, especially they are aware that they see it. They, this person, these people are dreaming of this person coming towards you. It's ridiculous, Divine Feminine. It's ridiculous, okay? But it's okay. God always got the way and no weapon against you guys shall ever prosper. Do you understand? God is already working on this. This is already happening in the spiritual. It's a matter of time it happens in the physical, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helpful help you. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and share, and subscribe so other people are able to find this message. Remember that you're praying for each other. Pray for each other every single day. Even after when you're together, pray for each other, okay? I love you guys. Send you love and so much more protection and healing vibes, okay? Continue doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job, okay? See you next time. <laughs>